Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart, Slabtown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. Today's tour is going to be of Mimi's Freedom House. Uh, this is an 8 by 20 road legal unit. We are built permanently on a double axle trailer. A little bit about the exterior, we've got a rustic red cedar siding. It's got a clear coat cabinet stain on it. On the back here we've got a little bit of a storage area and the exterior part of our mini split heat and air system. Again, this is an 8 by 20. This is a single loft unit. In this particular case, the loft is mainly going to just be used for storage. Let me go inside and give you a look. We've got a hickory hardwood laminate flooring. Uh, in the living area here, we've got this little flip up table. We've got large uh, mount for a flat screen TV. I believe it's a 55 inch she's going to be putting in here. We've got a 2030 window there in the living area. Uh, here is a, we've got a raised full-size bed area. We've got storage underneath. Uh, two storage sections on the right here are both uh, for hanging clothes and some shelf storage. And then over here on the left, we've actually got a washer-dryer combo under there. So quite a little bit of storage in the closet area. Again, this area is for a full-size bed. Got a 2030 window above it. Mini split interior portion of the heat and air. Couple of uh, wall sconce lights there for reading. Got a ceiling fan light kit here, and we've got a vaulted ceiling. It's pretty tall over this particular area. Now, pan around here and give you a shot of the kitchen area. We've got a 10 cubic foot stainless steel fridge. On top of that, we've got a microwave convection oven combo. A large, or yeah, excuse me, a large deep single basin sink. Uh, another 2030 window here above the sink. We've got oak cabinets with a stain on them on both sides. So we've got about eight total feet of, of countertop minus the sink. There's a little two burner cooktop. Uh, another 2030 window there. We've got a little bit of spice type rack shelving there. Uh, pan back around, a little bit of shelf right there. This particular uh, house is set up kind of like the Jasper house that we've done before where we've got the old rustic windows in a wall between the bathroom and kitchen. Um, sliding door here going in. Our bathroom, we've got a three to three shower stall with the corrugated metal. And over the window here, we do not have shower curtains in place, but we do have a rod to cover the window. Uh, 2030 window in the end of the bathroom here as well. Got a nature's head composting toilet. Behind that, we've got some storage for the compost, the spray bottle, toilet paper behind that. And here we've got another one of our Dahlstead handmade pottery sinks mounted above the toilet on a mirror top and a wall light above that as well. So um, pretty simple build, pretty custom all the way. Uh, if you have any questions about this unit, anything else we've built or even talk about a new one, don't hesitate to uh, Email me at ozarksbestyahoo.com or you can text or call me anytime at 870-213-5310. Uh, uh, time of posting this little house as seen with everything in it, uh, just shy of 30 grand. So thanks for watching guys. We appreciate the support.